In this movie I'm going to show repair of SMEC ECF01 coffee maker. But the machine stopped working quite suddenly and the symptoms were that uh, electrically it looked fine. All functions uh, seemed to be the machine was switching on. Uh, the pump still was working. There was very little water coming out of the, of the machine into the coffee cup. The machine was cleaned, we checked uh, all the filters, um, everything seems to be fine. The scaling, cleaning uh, was not, 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 not helping at all. Finally, after uh, taking the coffee machine apart, it turned out that uh, the broken part was a pressure relief valve. It costs about £10, it is available online, it's relatively easy to replace. I haven't shown in this video how to disassemble the coffee machine uh, but it is exactly the reverse process of assembling. So you start from the base of the coffee machine and then you go to the top and then you remove basically the inside of the of the coffee machine from the enclosure. Okay so just to explain how does this thing work and how this is built. Uh, so this is the feeding line. So this line normally is attached to the to the tank. Right, so you have a tank here and as, as you can see there are two two valves. One goes one goes in, in here and it's feeding the water, cold water from the tank into the system and this is the return valve that goes now right here. So that's the feeding line. That's the feeding line. This is a water sensor. So basically this tells whether um, this tells the system uh, if there is a water available for the pump to con continue. Uh, then the water goes through this line into the pump. Then these are connectors to the to the pump here. Then from the pump it goes to the valve. This valve basically works as like a pressure relief. So if there is a, any block or any pressure increased in the system, so sort of like past this valve, then uh, the water instead of going into the into the lines and then potentially uh, spilling the, uh, the hot water, um, uh, causing some rupture into the into the piping, uh, it will go back into the into the tank. Then the water is being fed through this valve into the heater element that is here. So let's have a look. That's how it looks on the other side. So that's your heater element. The water goes in there and goes around around the spiral inside this heater element and then goes out sort of like boiling water goes out through this through this valve. Here you can see all the controls. Uh, control board basically for the uh, uh, for the coffee maker this is a power switch and then as it continues here from the heater it goes into the dispensing element uh, element over uh, over there so that's and this is basically where it goes goes out into your into your cup right uh, if you open this valve here, then the water, instead of going down into the, uh, into the uh, coffee cup, it will go into the, uh, the side dispenser, into the frother uh, on the side of the, uh, uh, of the, of the coffee maker. And then coffee maker knows whether this switch whether it should whether to open this valve or not whether it is in the 
in this position or not by this uh, by this switch. Um, and here is the bolt that is connected to the. Um, here is the buttons, three buttons, operating buttons that are connected to the, the main board. Okay, this is our testing setup. Um, so, uh, this bowl will catch the hot water and hopefully it's going to go through the system uh, or out of the system. Uh, this is the return valve uh, here that will uh, direct the water uh, that is not able to go through the uh, through the heater and will go back to the normally will go back to the water tank. Here is a little uh, funnel attached to the feeding line. Uh, I've already put some water into the uh, into the line uh, to prime the. Uh, the pump um, yeah and we're going to uh, to test if uh, this is this is all working so let's switch on the power so that is the okay so we switch on the power you can see that the uh, coffee maker is heating up the element and as soon as it stops flashing it's going to be ready to uh, to work okay yeah ready to uh, ready to make some coffee so uh, let's do a small one so here we go press the button and as you can see Sucking the water through the feeding line. This is where your coffee is going to be made, and this is sort of like a little of the fluid that is uh, that went went back. Let's try and see if the bigger cup is also going to to work. So here we go. Keep on popping up the feeding line. Excellent. All seems to be working. Uh, let's switch off the power. Uh, check for the leaks. I don't think there are any leaks here. I can't feel any leaks. I cannot see any leaks. Uh, so that's how much water is going back from the, through this through this valve. This is our the volume that went normally would would go into the into the cup. Everything seems to be working. Well, all we need to do is to put it back. Uh, all this is basically sliding back into the uh, into the plastic uh, plastic element. So I'll be putting it together now, uh, and hopefully it will uh, it will work well. Okay, uh, let's disconnect this plug. Okay, and now what we need to do, we need to take this main bit here and slide it inside. So the power cable goes inside first. And then all the rest follows. It's going to be quite tight fit. Quite tight fit here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do. 
one more thing, which basically is close this close this uh, little element. So, no, sorry, it goes like that. Close heater. Sort of like touch the warm heater, it's still it's a little bit warm, and just reminded me about. Yeah, so then that, that one needs to be fixed, this cover needs to be put back in place. Okay, so now I'm going to squeeze it, squeeze it in. It goes nicely. This tube needs to go through here. Okay, the next step is to connect the earth wire. It goes in here. Okay, and if I'm going to get the power switch off, so it just jumped off, it's only then that we go down nicely into, into position. So this switch here needs to be aligned with the Okay, let's check. Are we happy? Still not happy. It is still not aligned here with the power switch. So it still needs to go about a quarter of a of an inch, half a half a centimeter in. Um, I think this probably is uh, what needs to be what needs to be aligned here. Okay, I'll try to find out. You can see that this clip here is blocking. Here we go. Now it jumped. It jumped nicely in. Right? So it jumped nicely in. I think it is fully, fully, fully now in the and uh, enclosure. Let's check. Yes, we can see the switch aligns now nicely with the uh, with the button. We can put the button button back. 
Uh, and also what is an indicator that everything is in place is that this is sort of like a line here uh, the, the, for the liver. The, the, and the liver will fit in, inside. And here the frother, you can move it with a little bit of a resistance. It's not completely loose. So that indicates everything is in place. Let's get the power back in. screws uh, in place and hopefully this is going to be to be all done so I've got five screws one is slightly shorter the other the same the same length so I start with this one here Now test the frother and it's sort of like can move freely but there is some resistance because these two screws here are actually to get this into position. So I've got these three screws here, the long ones, this is the medium one, this is the short one. Now I'll get this clip slightly better around the shaft of the hot water dispenser. Now we can put the, the handle, push it in, this operates smoothly and here you can see how the switch is being engaged and that's how the machine knows that this is basically the hot water dispenser is in use. And now we can get this thing back into position. And basically the way it attaches to the main uh, main enclosure is by these little little hooks. So basically what you need to do is to get them into the slots. Get them back 
without breaking them and then it will jump into position. This is a little bit of a tri tricky, tricky business, but it is doable. Here we go. Right. Jumped into the into the position and two screws now need to be put here. tight, just right, okay, and that's basically top, top of our coffee maker is done, then we go underneath and we need to close it properly. The important bit is that this middle bit needs to go in here. So there it is, and as you can see, there is a little guide. Now it works as a, as a sort of like locating pin, but there's nothing, nothing to prevent you from actually getting this and get it to the side. Okay. So there are different screws that go underneath. Uh, one, uh, the ones that expose are with this hex kind of pattern. And the one ones that are hidden, right here, they are with the Phillips screwdriver. This looks like all our screws are in place. Okay, and finally we need to put the filter in here. So that's the screw. And uh, uh, quite often this can get blocked, so this needs to be properly cleaned. So all you need to do is to remove this screw here, take it off, and basically clean it with the uh, uh, descale it. Basically. We're going to just put it, put it in at the moment. Touch this with a, a short screwdriver. This is sort of like a touch. Okay, looks like we we good. Okay, so here it is after repair, after a change of the valve pressure valve. It's here. 
and we're going to test and see if it's working. Okay, let's go ahead. Water container is primed. Here comes the coffee. Coffee, coffee. So bright it's difficult to see the light. Oh, here it is. They're blinking now. The heater is getting ready. Takes a while. It takes a longer while, but it is all fine. Okay, moment of truth. Some noise. That's it. Looks like it's working. Double espresso. Double espresso. Excellent. Good. Brilliant. Job done. Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>